in this video, we'll graph this inequality. So first, we'll leave y by itself, so it's easier for us to graph. So write down the inequality. I want to leave y by itself, so I want to move everything to the right side. So subtract x on both sides. We have negative 2y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 3. Divide both sides by negative 2. Right. So since we're dividing a negative number, the inequality sign needs to change to the other direction. So greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to because we're dividing by a negative number. If you divide by a positive number, the sign won't change the direction. Anyway, we'll have y is less than or equal to, here's positive 1 half x minus 3 over 2. So notice that these two inequalities are equivalent. So we will graph this one instead because it's easier to, do, to graph because y is by itself. Alright, so first we'll graph the line. y is equal to 1 half x minus 3 over 2. The slope is 1 half. y-intercept is negative 3 over 2, which is negative 1.5. So find negative 1.5, it's around here, first point. Second point, we'll find it using the slope 1 over 2. That means go up by 1 and to the right by 2. 1, 2. Now we're going to connect the two points with a solid line because we do have the equal sign here. So connect the two points with a solid line. Then we'll decide which side to shade. We'll look at this equation. It's less than or equal to, so we're going to shade below. Okay. So that is our graph. Now on your own, I want you to graph this inequality. When you're done, you can unpause your video and check the answer. Here's the answer. First, we will leave y by itself. So let me write down the inequality over here again. To leave y by itself, let's move everything to the other side. So you have 2y is less than negative 3x plus 4. Now divide both sides by 2. So since we're dividing a positive number on both sides, you don't have to change the inequality sign. You have y is uh, less than negative 3 over 2x plus 2. Right. So graph the line y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 2 first, the slope is negative 3 over 2 and the y-intercept is 2. So we'll start with the y-intercept which is at 2. Use the slope negative 3 over 2 to find the second point so go down by 1, 2, 3 to the right by 1, 2. This is the second point. Okay so now we're going to connect the two points with a dashed line, that's right, because we're having less than, not less than or equal to. So we'll connect the two points with a dashed line. Right, so to decide which side to shade, you look at this inequality. Y is less than, so you shade below below the line. So 
Of course, you can always use the test point method to find which side to shake. And see you in the next video.